So starting with the baseline growth alternative, the first question was, housing remains single family and low density. That had eight likes and 12 dislikes. Continuing with baseline, downtown lacks economic diversity. One like and 18 dislikes. No expansion into agricultural lands. 16 likes to one dislike. Transportation systems and street network remain auto-oriented. One like to 18 dislikes. Small community character. A whopping 20 likes <laughs> to zero dislikes. Limited, sorry, limited impact pedestrian safety measures. Four likes and 15 dislikes. And accommodate future growth by filling in vacant land. 13 likes, three dislikes. For the redevelopment growth alternative. <clears throat> introduces accessory dwelling units, or ADUs, medium density and high density residential options throughout the community. 20 likes, three dislikes. Locates commercial amenities and services within walking distance of residential areas. 22, dislike, or 22 likes, and one dislike. Establishes open space and pedestrian bicycle focused trails. 23 likes, one dislike. Redevelops industrial focus areas into compact mixed use development. 18 likes, six dislikes. Connect pedestrian areas to create complete streets with increased pedestrian access. 23 likes, zero dislikes. Focuses growth in the south, downtown, industrial, and Pier Avenue areas, all within Oceana limits. Eight likes, six dislikes. Eighteen, 18 likes. <laughs> uh, establishes an anchor full service grocery store for access to healthy foods and dietary needs. Fifteen likes, five dislikes. The organization of commercial areas and transportation fosters connection between the coastal and inland areas of Oceana. 22 likes, one dislike. We want to know where you got that picture in Oceana. <laughs> <laughs> That's a secret. <laughs> and high density residential connected to leisure activities. 13 likes, six dislikes. Also in the airport, medium density mixed use residential. 13 likes, five dislikes. Also in the airport, a regional open space. 17 likes, two dislikes. Also in the airport, Paved pedestrian bike path along flood protection day. 18 likes, two dislikes. In downtown, a vibrant mixed use frontage. 17 likes, one dislike. On Pier Avenue in downtown, complete streets. 18 likes, one dislike. On Pier Avenue, active commercial space. 18 likes, one dislike. Pier Avenue in downtown, a new circulation loop. 19 likes, zero dislikes. Yeah. <laughs> in Central Oceano, soccer fields in detention basins. <laughs> that was a typo. 18 likes, zero dislikes. South and Central Oceano, new healthy grocery <coughs> store. 14 likes, three dislikes. In South and Central Oceano, 
a community serving park space. 19 likes, zero dislikes. So we're now going to take all the feedback we've received today to develop the preferred alternative scenario. That scenario will guide the development of the goals, objectives, policies, and programs for each element of the community plan. Our next visit will be on March 12th, right here again. We will send out flyers and notices through the community, posted on our Facebook and our website prior to the meeting. We'll also be posting the um, presentation with the script content. Um, six o'clock? Six o'clock, same time. Um, so, thank you all so much for attending tonight. We hope to see you again in just a couple weeks in March. Um, you can find further information and updates on our website at www.planforoceano.wixsite.com slash oceano, <laughs> which is where we'll be posting the slide content from today. And our Facebook page, at Plan for Oceano. And please feel free to send us emails at planforoceano at gmail.com. We'll be sticking around to answer questions, and thank you again for attending tonight. Thank you. Thank you.